Smartphones have come a long way from just having a dial pad to then having a full QWERTY keyboard, then to getting rid of that and going full for a full touch screen with a virtual keyboard. And this is continuing to expand as companies are trying to minimize the bezel all the way around meaning no forehead, no chin, and they're coming up with unique ways of how to add still the, the camera and the other sensors and microphones while still having a full screen bezel-less display. One of these techniques is using navigation gestures. It used to be popular that we had capacitive home back and recent buttons in the bottom bezel the chin bezel but as that chin bezel got smaller more companies have begun using the software navigation buttons and of course this is continuing to evolve to navigation gestures and today I'm going to show you how to enable full screen navigation gestures on the Redmi 5 and the Redmi 5 Plus. And I have a lot of quirks that I do not like about Xiaomi's MIUI, but this implementation of navigation gestures is spot on. So we just need to open up the settings application. We're going to scroll down a bit till we get to the system and device section. Then you're going to see an option here called full screen display. Now right here is how we control our system navigation. And you can see we have two options here. We can have buttons, which is how it will be uh, set by default. And that has our back home and recents button over there or we have the full screen navigation gestures so all we have to do is tap the full screen navigation gestures option this it, the first time you do this is going to ask if you want to learn the gestures so I'll go through this with you and we'll go learn so we can perform these actions using gestures. We can go home, we can go open recents, and we can go back just like with the back button. So now it's going to tell us to swipe up from the bottom quickly. And that's going to take us home. Very easy. We just swipe from the bottom and that will take us home. Now if we want to open up the recents, we need to swipe up from the bottom and pause. Because if we just swipe up and let go, it's going to try to go home. But we just want to swipe up and hold, and that creates that app into a card. And then once we let go, you can see we have all of our open applications set up in card view. Now the last navigation gesture we have for the Redmi 5 and the Redmi 5 Plus, of course, is going back. Different applications use the back button for different things. So anytime you need to go back, again, we have no buttons. We're just going to swipe from the far left corner. Swipe to the right. And you can actually swipe from the right and swipe to the left and there you have it if you wanted to you could try these this tutorial again if you're not sure of how to do it or you can just tap I'm done and that's it I have used these navigation gestures on these MIUI devices and I love it so that is how to enable those gestures on the Redmi 5 
and the Redmi 5 Plus.